the Binax now Binax Binax now COVID nineteen antigen self test is a lateral flow immuno immunoassay intended for the qualitative detection of nucleocapsid protein antigen from let me try this again. Hey everyone, it's me Kyle Williams and welcome back to my house. This better be negative. The whole time I'm getting this video ready, I'm like, this better be negative, this better be negative. All right, real quick to introduce the scene. I'm here in my room with some mostly white light with a little bit of colors. My hair kind of sticking up in the back, but it kind of is the look, I don't know. <sighs> I look really good. I'm wearing a shirt, oh whoa, uh -huh. chaos. I'm wearing a gray colored shirt with some designs. It doesn't fit me. But it doesn't matter because we have some important business today. COVID testing. You may have heard of this. Oh, you can see all the lighting in the reflection of this box. Uh, spoiler alert, whenever I make these videos, I just turn on every light in my house and position them until I look okay. Okay, coronavid virus. Today I'm taking a test at home. I'm pretty sure this will be a negative test. However, I guess there's always a chance that it could be positive. But we are hoping for a negative result today. I am double vaxxed and boosted. Safe to say my left arm has been through it. So hopefully that means I am safe, but I mean, you never know. We have the, the holocron variant or whatever is going around right now. I'm just, I'm spreading awareness of coronavirus testing and showing you how easy, hopefully this is easy, how easy it is to take the test at home. And to be honest, that's a lot more than some of these uh, politicians are doing. Put me in the office and I'll help out. Actually, no, I would not want to do the government. Anyway, today we're taking a COVID-19 test at home. I was able to snag one for $14. I'm sorry if you're looking for one and cannot find one, but keep looking because I finally found one. This product has not been FDA cleared or approved, but has been authorized by FDA under an EUA. Okay, there's a lot of words here. So I'm gonna take the test. Okay, I just could open the box with a knife, which sounds unsafe, but it wasn't. Oh. Wow, okay. So this is what's in the box. Okay, we have reading materials here in the box. A fact sheet for individuals. I guess that's me. Okay, same instructions, but in Espanol. Maybe I'll finally become fluent in Spanish with these instructions. Um, a little bag of something. Another little bag of something. This, sterile foam tipped app, app, app. Oh. Sterile foam tipped applicator. Don't know what that is. These look like chopsticks you get at a restaurant. And then, these two little things don't know what they do yet and then the plastic container they all come in this is kind of a lot i'm realizing but it's okay i'm hoping that the ease of doing it at home outweighs the complicated nature of the test if that makes sense all right i'm gonna read the english instructions for use okay this all right it is a lot of words in some reading but I'm hoping it will be good for my health. Intended use. The Binax Now COVID-19 antigen self-test is a lateral flow immunoassay, immunoassay intended for the qualitative detection of nucleocapsid protein antigen from SARS-CoV-2 from individuals with or without symptoms or other epidemiological, epidemiological reasons to suspect COVID-19 infection. This is a really long sentence. To suspect COVID-19 infection when tested twice over three days with at least 36 hours between tests. <sighs> the Binax Now COVID-19 antigen self-test does not differentiate between SARS-CoV and SARS-CoV-2. That's fine because I can't differentiate between those two things either. Aren't they? I don't know what co I see. This is how uneducated the public is. Like all love, no judgment to myself, but I don't know. I don't know these words. Like I don't know what's going on in the body. Which I think day to day is probably okay, but for this kind of stuff, I might need to know what's going on. <sighs> okay, will this test hurt? No, it is not sharp and it should not hurt. That's good. Use of gloves is recommended. I don't have gloves, sorry. All right, I'm reading a lot about the test. I'm not seeing where it says how to do it. Okay, here we go. Carefully read instructions, pyre, pyre. Carefully read instructions prior to starting test. So it says, remove test card from pouch and lay flat on table. The card must stay flat on the table for the entire test. I really should have done this with the table in front of me. So you can't see it, but I'm putting it on this little table. Make sure the blue control line is present in the result window. It is. Remove dropper bottle cap. Here is the dropper bottle cap. I am removing the cap. Oh, okay. It says to put six drops on the top hole in the card. Okay, here we go. 
I'm putting on the six drops. One, two, three, four, five, six. I put the six, what do I do with this now? I'm just gonna put it down. Okay, what was in that, water? Doesn't matter. Open swab package at stick end. So these are the chopstick straw things. Open swab package at stick end. Take swab out. Oh, we got, sorry, y'all seeing this? I'm taking it out. Ah! I dropped it, but here's the swab. Swab nostrils carefully as shown. Insert the entire soft tip of the swab into a nostril, and I need to do both nostrils. Okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go. I'm going to insert it into my nose and twist it around big circles in 15 seconds. So I'm just gonna look at my little camera thing here, and we're gonna go right now. Well, hopefully that was fine, right? I think I did that right. Insert swab tip into bottom hole. I'm just gonna insert it. Okay, sorry, you can't see this part either, but I'm inserting it into the bottom hole and then you can see it in the top hole. And then you twist it three times. One, two, three. Do not skip this step. I didn't skip the step, I promise. I just did it. You just can't see it. it's not on camera. Leave the swab in the card for the remainder of the test, okay? Peel adhesive liner off, okay? There's an adhesive on the thing, so I'm peeling it off now. You just can't see it, I'm sorry, but you'll have to trust me, okay? Here's the, ad here's the adhesive, it is off. Close left side of the card. Okay. I'm now closing the left side of the card, okay. Wait 15 minutes. Okay, so in 15 minutes, I will check the results. It says read at 15 to 30 minutes, but I thought it said read for 15 to 30 minutes. <laughs> so I'm gonna go read a book. Okay, so this really feels like a pregnancy test. I've never taken a pregnancy test personally, but this seems like a pregnancy test because it has lines that will pop up. So we're hoping, we are hoping for no line to arrive. So there's always a control line and a sample line might appear if it's positive. So we do not want a sample line, just a control line. So let's hope no line shows up. So now I'm just gonna wait 15 minutes, I guess. Where am I? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just watching videos until my test is ready. Now I'm so devoid of color. He don't know what he means. He's blue. Okay. I am not a mother, I'm a problem. So if my parents serve, you'd be eligible for USAA. Grandparents. As long as your parents joined. What about if I can do this? I use USAA because my parents... No! Oh. USAA. Only for the military community. <laughs> So big when you're in it. Fuck around and get lost. I'll be a lady in the streets in the dress with her hair tied up. Finally, it's been 15 minutes. Yeah, it's negative. Thank goodness. <coughs> that <laughs> that cough is not an indication. <laughs> that was a healthy cough. There is not even a faint second line, so it's a negative. Thank goodness. The double vaxxed and, and boostedness came in handy. I guess I'm very lucky to be vaxxed and boosted in this time. So if you can, get vaxxed and boosted, everyone. A second test should be obtained over three days with at least 36 hours between tests. So. This box has a second test, so I guess I can just do that in a couple days. But I should probably also do like a hospital one this week as well. They don't have symptoms or anything, but you never know. Yeah, so I'm done. That was pretty quick and relatively easy. The entire testing process does not take long. If you get a positive, it tells you what to do and has all this good advice and everything. So now I have this cute little thing that I guess I just throw away. Throw away all used test kit 
components in the trash. So if you can find one of these, do it. Invest in the $14 and get tested. I mean, there are a bunch of places you can go for free, but this is easy at home and I just was sitting here and could do it. So maybe that's worth the $14, I don't know. Depends on the person. It was for me. Yeah, so that's pretty much it actually. And today to end the video, I will hit the camera with the box. See how easy it was? Go get tested. All right, but yeah, thank you all for watching. You can pay for this one or just go do the free one, but it's good to know the status. All right, but be safe out there everyone and I'll see you next time.